Well, well, well. Looks like it's time to get back in action. First Touch is back, ladies and gentlemen. Season 3, Episode 6, of course, is Dazarin, Roll Diz, and T Bates. And we are here. Oh, gosh. And... Oh, gosh, is right. Yeah, here over there. Here over wait. there in the dark cave right now. I know. I feel like <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, I got a scooch in. You know, a couple, a couple background changes. I'm zoomed out. And Raul, Raul, not... is lo- Raul looks like a little tiny man. I mean, you are, but... Bro, okay, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> need to say nothing so of that. So this is an accurate <laughs> representation. You always are on your stream saying you're 4'11". Now everybody at chat at home gets to see that, gets to see that you are actually 4'11". As you can clearly see, I'm the biggest FT member. Ah, strip what? size. What? Nah, hold on. Why? <laughs> when, when did we start with this? I mean, first of all, I never lied, but Daz, get your mans. Get your mans. <laughs> hey, listen, oh, listen. Wait, I'm, right, right. Don't point at me. Listen, he might have the muscles. I got the height. That's that's all I know. That's all I know. But you know, gentlemen, it's it's good that we can finally get back together. Obviously, we had a good break. Uh, we fall split ended. Everybody got time to kind of relax and come back. And uh, you know, I think we picked a really good day. To come back today because today if you didn't know it's been two years since the very first episode first touch aired uh oh like like i said very first Wait, episode real? yeah yeah like it's on today. the dot on the dot today on the dot like oh, i could go on my youtube channel i still got the first episode up on youtube it, like it's, oh wow uh, yeah this this <laughs> exact crazy. day is That's it crazy. and uh it looks like yeah, obviously thank you everyone who supported us for throughout the years but uh production the people behind the scenes they have been very secretive about something that they got for us for with me rolled this t-base we haven't seen it yet oh, oh. and we're gonna see it for the first time uh with you guys so let's roll the tape Rocket League Ladies show. and gentlemen, welcome to First Touch, an official Rocket League podcast. I'm your host, Dazrin, and our fl- it's time to go to work. Welcome back. Season two of First Touch is here. It's of course. Well, well, well. Looks like we're back. Welcome back to First Touch Season Three. Of- First Touch. What started as a show with a couple of friends, a caster, this has to be afterthought hands down. They have an a professional player turned coach. The wall back to this corner again. The corner of death as they bump yep. another one and Roldis gets the second goal. They talk about wanting it more. Of course, G2 everybody. And a CRL champion. It's all up to Arizona. Down by one. The shot from P Bates. No one can stop the chef. LSU will end this series as they are our Western Conference regional champions. Created a family. Prize pool, the last world championship. None of us were even here. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, <laughs> through, and all of a sudden, you got an entirely new desk at the moment joining you. World championship. I'm glad to be here. Oh, Woo! It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you. But before we do that, we've got the first touch pre-show, and we've got some very special guests joining me today. We've got Shogun, CJ, Johnny Boy, and of course Lando Norris joining us. Lando, welcome to the show. A community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rocket League Nissan Crew Battles. It's me, Dazzer, and join with me is Roll Diz and Johnny Boy. And a platform for those historically underrepresented in esports. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the First Touch Black History Month special. I'm your host, Daz. We're enjoying with me our two very special hosts, F. Dot and T. Bates, where we are. Three friends with one goal. Is you a good region? We don't know. Is BDS a good team? <laughs> Maybe. Or are they just an uh, okay team in a bad region? Who knows? But BDS is going to get the <laughs> 4040. Uh, but yeah, I heard there's oh. been so, some EU slander on this show in the past, and I'm not going to stand for that. I mean, I am technically standing right now, but I mean, figuratively, I won't stand for that. 
Um, so, so you got bigger things to worry about. Yeah, you're right. Listen, New team. Focus, it's like it's like the fitness update. Your team got like 45 more days together before they go talk about roster moves. Yeah, so you better worry about the team that you you over here repping as the best team in the world. They already listen. made a move and they gonna make another one in like 10 days. So I wanna tweet it, tweet it out. I'm hopping on the merch. Man, what's that gonna do? You just got a first gun? You acknowledge that first gun better than you? So you trying to make excuses now? Oh, now you gonna hop on the merch? Oh, we're not trying anymore. No, I wanna see that either. No, I'm trying to see who the best. I wonder who better, Justin first killer. I wonder who better, FaZe and RG. I wanna have the heat when we show up the majors. I wanna see y'all looking across this, across this, across y'all screens at each other saying, yo, I'm here, I'm that dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my placement as of recently has been the best it's ever been, t -Base. I'll let you know that. Ooh. But uh, if I crossbar something, I, I'm, you best know that you're getting blocked after. I'm not talking to you for a month. <laughs> like, I, I can't hear from you. I will literally put my foot through my monitor. Well, well. Boys. <laughs> it's time to go to work. Turbo underperformed. He's out. Is this an NRG highlight or is this a V1 demo fest? What's going on? So who, who messed with the highlight package? What is happening? Oh, sick. I'm being trolled! I'm being trolled! How do we not have the Darren G finish in the highlight match? We're set up and he was being a man! And we don't have that! Happy two year anniversary, First Touch. Chris get the professional headshot. <laughs> <laughs> we, need that, we need that last slide back up. Yeah, we, we. Is that possible? Is that possible, Ben? There it is. Yeah, yeah, look at Chris. Chris. <laughs> if you don't know, Chris is Sheena, content director under there. Oh my God. Chris is the fresh shot. Look at Kier on the side. Kay. Okay. I just, I, I just want to say our team is one is uh. It's a pretty great team. That's all I gotta say. We, we no try doubt. to. We got a whole bunch of young people that have gone. Uh, I got a couple of college educated people up in here. Uh, Sheena graduated from Rowan. Sky, uh, she's amazing. She goes to UW, aka Washington. Kier went to LSU for a little bit. Of course, I'm college educated myself. And then you got and then you got uh, Gummer Ben. You hear us talk to him all the time. He went to UCs for a little bit. Then he said, "I don't need college anymore. I'm just gonna be great doing other things." And as you can see, he's great. And of course, you got Jay. You don't need to talk about him. Uh, he speaks for himself. I know. I mean, did you see his new car he bought? That man's making money. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got the two dudes on the right. I, re I really love our team. Um, yeah. And this is quite uh, touching. I didn't hear any of it, but just looking out, just looking off of it, it looked absolutely amazing. So thank you. Yeah, a lot of great moments in the last two years, man. We've been through, we've been through a lot. Base, base, and I a couple, a uh, couple facial changes. We seen Daz. He, he looked like he was twelve in one of the one that of the clips. Crazy. It's crazy. Okay, that, bro. No, that's that one's from like five years ago, though. Like, <laughs> that, that, that's why. No, yeah, I, you... I saw a couple people in the chat even saying, I, I didn't know T Bates played the game. And then and then they see a <laughs> clip of me rolling the ball like a, a fear of fastball. And they're like, Rolders is peaking, bro. I, I can't win, bro. Wait, they didn't know I played the game? <laughs> Not Y'all need, Google... <laughs> need to Google me, man. There's a reason on the intro says zero champion. You saw that shot right there? That's what earned me the championship. That's what earned me that championship <laughs> tag. Put it right behind Fire and Planet Cargo. They never saw it coming, Top Shell. Oh, God. Oh god. No, I mean Bates and Roll this both said it like there's been so many cool uh, and amazing things that have happened in the past few years, amazing moments uh and you know I I've been very appreciative to have the team that we've had and to be able to work with everybody we've been able to over the past 2 years. I mean, we've all grown uh in our careers and as people throughout those past 2 years. It's very beautiful yeah. to see. It's I gained about, about 10 pounds. I gained about 10 pounds about in that 2 year span. Then about 10 pounds my face, I, I put I put a little bit of beard on, I guess. Yo. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't I'm know if that's a good thing. I was about to say, he lost the hair up top and put it down here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let, that being said, I mean, listen, to to these past two years, like we said, thank you everyone who has been supporting us for all this time and to many more as we continue on. Now, of course, we still got a show. 
to do. Can I say today. one more thing, though? Yeah, say, go ahead. Say your thing. I couldn't hear myself that whole entire time, but the amount of passion it seemed that I was exuding, I don't think I ever get to that level. <laughs> level, level. It's very rare that I get to that level nowadays. For all these people that are out there that's calling me loud, clearly you must not have been watching two years ago. Because the way I was grabbing that mic and holding it just kept going back and forth. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying, but I clearly cared. I cared about something. And it takes a little while for Bates to get there. I guess I'm just getting older now. So He's getting older. Oh goodness gracious! He's getting he. What we say? He said he's getting mellow. Base, don't I get know, too mellow. Mellowed out. That's a, that's okay. Because uh, if you get mellow, one of our guests today, he'll have the energy to bring you back in. That's for sure. Let's 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 bring in our guests as we get ready to talk about today. We have two very special guests. If you've been following us on Twitter, you know who they are already. But of course, we've got Mister Jorby, please. I mean, he speaks for himself. Very, Ooh. very passionate RLCS cast. The background this now. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's looking. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's, not just, it's not just looks that are upgrading these last two years. You put, you put. Wait, is that the same rug I got? Where'd you get that from? What that? I, I bought that rug at Home Depot. Yes, it's my rug. <laughs> <laughs> it's my rug. It's okay. like really soft. It's like really Yo, soft. It's it super like soft, dude. Yes, this is one of the. Rug. It's one of the I best rugs I've photo. ever bought. I have the, Yes, it is the best rug. Highly recommend. You really oh wouldn't goodness. think you really wouldn't think spending money on a, on a rug is something you should do. But, but it's a necessity. You, you put your feet on that rug and you're like, you can I'm sleep on that tonight. rug. That rug I'm is laying a bed. here tonight. That's, that exactly, rug is a bed. that's exactly right. Yes, yes, I am with you on that. I've okay. never seen anyone so excited about a rug. About I'm, a I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, 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 I will have to record a little video of like, well, you can't. I don't know. Everybody that comes over to my place now, they all have to touch the rug. They they all have to. Is 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 okay. Well, that's weird. I don't do that. No, well, no. I mean, when you come into the living room. You have to get on the rug, but like I kind of like hype it up and say like, you gotta fill the rug. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also, we have Abjack here, May fall major champion. Abjack, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are we all doing? <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing good. We're talking about rugs. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't expect that, uh, but yeah, good, good conversation. <laughs> Great oh, background, cool sure. too. Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm at the the Gen G facility. Oh, okay. Yeah, did, you, yeah. did you got a spot like that? I like the brick behind you. It's got like a cool. It reminds yes. me of how Scump used to run, run here at the Optic Place. We got all the setups behind you. Stuff. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. That's it's it's cool. nice here. It's nice. It's a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, let's get to it and talk about roster mania that's our first topic of the day obviously there's been after rotterdam there was a lot of conversations uh there was talks about this player moving to x team then it's gonna cause a domino effect where they move to y team and it's gonna cause this player and then at the end of it nothing happened and i think i don't even know where to start with this one because i guess we do we start with rise here because i feel like it's the rise v1 rumor that really had things that took things into place. How do you feel, Jorby? Definitely was the rise move, because that's that's why all the other moves started happening. Everyone was being like, oh, how could version 1 do this to Com a week before the season? And then all of a sudden the rumor comes out that, well, Optic are going to pick up Com in place of Magic Bear. Then everyone's like, oh, no, how could they do that to Magic at the last second? And then, uh, uh, as far as I know, a bunch of players started scrambling. Teams were scrambling at that point. And then Rise pulls the, the funniest Uno reverse and everything just snaps back right into place and nothing happens. It, it was awesome because, like, everyone lost their minds. And then no one knew what to do with their energy afterwards. Yeah, I, I agree on that one. Uh, it, it, but you can st you're starting to see a little bit of the, I would say, repercussions of certain things that happened, especially in the, in the tiebreaker today. Let me know if I'm moving too fast here. But uh, the tiebreaker that happened yesterday... Tiebreaker between yeah, complexity mm -hmm. fury and optic and i think we all know like for example magic bear uh a lot of people call him a very family oriented type of player where he is someone who really likes being a part of a team and sticking with them and growing with them and i feel like that news about like Tom potentially going to optic i mean we saw some of the tweets that happened around their world this i felt like it, it kind of you can kind of almost see it too in the results yesterday that it had an impact yeah, that's a that's a bridge burned a one hundred. It, it's burning like the bridge is burning as, <laughs> as as it's happening. As soon as that news comes out, and you know that your spot was potentially up for grabs, or you were almost off the team, 
There's no, you can rekindle it, but it's not the same. It's never going to be the same again. Uh, it, mentality in Rocket League is 100% everything. And the teams that build the most chemistry with each other and are banded as a w complete group, as we have one of the major winners right here. He, he, uh, if you watch the documentary they drop, they they say it. They, they're, they're a complete group. The chemistry is 100% bulletproof. And uh, as soon as somebody hears their name is almost out the door, <laughs> bye bye. Like <laughs> that guy's mentally gone. And I said it could go one or two ways. He could either say, "All right, this is my second chance. Let me bounce back. Let me let me grind harder than I ever did before." Or what we saw yesterday is gonna happen over and over again. And I don't know if they can repair it. I mean, that's the hardest position to be in as a player. Like you're about to get kicked, and then your teammates go, "Actually, no, we're not kicking you." Uh, like mm -hmm. especially a team like obviously optic not getting top eight yesterday might be a sign of that but i'm worried about version one a team that i always rated high on uh, as, in terms of their mentality like a, a team that's always like always rode together right uh, calm always talks up how they they were always doing replay review they, they're always hanging out together all the time and then this happens and they were they were ready to get rid of him so uh, like to me i'm really scared for version one who had that uh, had that mental stability, and I think that helped uh, elevate a lot of their placements. So I'm worried for them. You want to like the Cowboys, because oh, Jordan, no. you said you said you said you they they are they have always been one of the teams that you rated highly, like. and that, that's the Dallas Cowboys in today's NFL. The teams people are always <laughs> rating them highly for some reason, and they always set you up for failure. They're not gonna get it done. And this B1 roster, listen, the move for Rise, it, it might have been something that they that they that they needed personally in order to actually get to that Gen G level, get over the hump. At the moment, I'm not seeing it as not necessarily current, currently constructed. I think they got the talent, but I'm talking about overall team cohesion and how they ultimately implement it on the pitch itself. Com has way more mechanics than he shows, but he's not mm -hmm. using them out there. They kind of just use him as a demo, demo lord and if that's what they believe works best and it gives them the best chance to win tournaments, I mean, so be it. I'm not going to, like, question it. I'm not coaching it. I'm not on the team itself. But from the outside looking in, it is looking a little suspect. And it always seems like they're always there. They're always give, passing out everything. You got Chrissy and everybody. They're trying to become the number one fan org in the game. Just like Cowboys <laughs> in the NFL. And it is setting you all up to be disappointed or accident waiting to happen. Simple and plain. And so the that ended up Go ahead. Go ahead. So them ended up staying together. I mean, ah, it's, it's cool, but I don't think it's really going to affect them that much. I don't think it's going to affect them as much. I mean, they got a game plan, demo, and so let, set up BMO to go to work. <laughs> my, my biggest thing about it is we know Com as, uh, it, personally, I think Com is the face. Like, the guy, like you you look at Beastmo. Beastmo is the guy who's yeah. going to carry the team, but Com is the, the representation. He's the PR of the team. Like, the guy is the face yeah. of the team. People look at Com and they're like, all right, he's the villain. Like, like if the Com is going up on interviews with the sunglasses, like, yeah, I'm about to beat you. We, we go to we go to lands and Com is screaming at the other team and everybody gets excited Oops. to hear Com talking his talk, especially when they're in game. So to replace him or to even think about replacing Com with Rise, what, what are you going to get? What is the benefit of getting Rise? You get what uh, you get maybe the same type of leadership and maybe a little bit more of a consistent player. Maybe, maybe, but that's like, not a maybe. That's a what's definitely. The, that's what, a, what's, that, the, what's the what's the thought who process? Who knows that they're gonna what, mesh well? Well, like what, uh -huh. what's what's the what's the reason the version one want to kick calm to begin with? Like what's the like they want to win. They want to win. Is, is, when, is, when you get is, a player is, like Rise, you can make that's <laughs> gonna bring no 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 championship though. But I'm saying but I'm saying why why calm? Like, because, oh, right, listen, listen, why come? Do, 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 do you think it's a strictly on the field on the field reason? Because I, I don't know. I think yeah. I think it's this right. If you pick up okay, Rise, ahead, I think mm. that Rise can be quite like, like he's got a strange play style. He definitely does, does have a strange play style. He can be quite, um, he can be insane when you mesh well with him. A player that's gonna easily fit with more players is Torment over Com because Torment fits mm -hmm. a, a very like defensive role he's going to do what he's going to do right you know what mm -hmm. he's going to do everyone everyone knows he's just going to sit back and he's going to let his two teammates kind of take control whereas com and rise on the same pitch it could get a little bit awkward so i think that um i think that torment you know is, is kind of that player to like make things fit especially with a team that hadn't you know tried out much like that that rise uh with v1 i don't think they even tried out before they were like kind of talking about it so i think going with torment would be way, way, way better. Ooh. 
Would they would they be good enough to beat y'all at that point? If they have rise. Are they are they on the Gen G tier or are they a tier still below? At the moment um, they're below y'all. I mean yeah, but like they I mean we can drop below them if, if we don't grind. That's all that it comes down to really. Uh you know, it's not we're not like the greatest team on paper, but we just mm. mesh well, right? So we don't okay. know, you know. Okay. That's the a great PR, PR answer. answer. That's a PR, <laughs> that's a PR, <laughs> PR app, Jack is in the gym. We can't building. catch Jack slipping, man. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm always on alert. alert. I'm always on alert. I'm always there. Uh... See, see, this gives this gives me to my main point, though. We're talking about all these players making the right decision, and that whole entire right. snowball effect from V1, V1 with the rise and everything else trickling down, it brings me to optic. Hmm. Ooh. Optic making the last second decision to try to pick up Com, and I was so confused this whole entire time. Com, like, yeah. potential wise, Magic Bear fits better because you don't know what you're going to get out of it. You want to try to test that release two splits, maybe even three. You don't just become world hmm. champions like that over the blink of an eye, unless you're Gen G. It's like finding lightning in a bottle. It doesn't happen every single time. When you add Com, who, in my opinion, isn't that much better than Magic Bear on paper. They bring, they bring, they bring different aspects to the pitch. You're not mm -hmm. automatically going to become a major team, so I don't even know why you decide to even make that decision to pick up Calm and get rid of Magic Bear, and then ultimately have to bring Magic Bear back because now the chemistry is all messed up. It's going to mess up the confidence of the young player, and that's the player on your team that could end up becoming a mini AJ or maybe in the AJ of quantum mechanics in, in terms of actually be dominating. Yeah. Man, we've been saying pitch. that about wait, Magic Bear for years. Yeah. You would think they would right know Jordan better, bit. though. You would think that those you two, you would think Rettles and AJ out of everybody would know better. Like, think, think about it this way. They've both been kicked from their teams. They yeah. both have been through that. Rettles just got done doing the whole SSG kick thing, that whole dramatic thing, saw the TikToks, all that nonsense. Hey, you want to tell me we get a last second move like that? Like I feel like for like I feel like it hit so hard too because I felt like Magic probably could have related to that. You know what I mean? He probably like thought about man, these guys take a chance on me. I'm well, looking up to them. Let me. Because Rettles you know, was so vocal about Magic Bear when they picked him up too, about mm -hmm. how excited he was to have him on the team. So to to only drop him after a split, after he talked him up so much, well, you know, it, it is it is, or what was going to anyway. Um, it, it does come across a little surprising. I know Optic weren't happy with their result in fall, but yeah, I got. I talked. I talked. Talk, I talked to Rettles about. I talked to Rettles about it a little bit. And I think I think he just believes that Calm's a better player. It's kind of like the what Jack and me and Raul were just saying about Rise being better than Calm. But I, I that, that's where that's where I disagree though, because Rise is just so so clear. It's just obvious. Like you, yeah. Rise on table, yeah. you got to pick him up. Like like that's one of the best in the game. You don't just let that slide. If he's available, you go out and get him. Calm is a really great player, really great on land. But it's just like is he that much better than Magic Bear? So much so that I need to make this change right now. Especially when I was like one off the major, two off the major, wherever they are in the fall. It's not like they were far away. A couple I mean, bounces to, go a different way, and then, then they're there. Not, not, not to meme, but I mean, I think they see Calm as an impact player. I, I, I wouldn't say that about Magic Bear, but you can't really argue that Calm has like made a big impact on version one in a lot of really tight situations for them. I, I can understand why Rettles wants to pick up Calm if he becomes available, because I think that they, they didn't get the results that they wanted out of it. And they need more impact on the field. I don't think they got that from okay. Magic in the fall. Yeah, that's their they're... first split together. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Is like, do you? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Do you take the potential of Magic Bear being that guy who could step into that place, or do you not want to take the risk? You know what you're gonna get out of Calm, and I genuinely think that they're just trying to like Rettles may, might have been super comfortable in that that system that SSG built, where it was him and Arsenal kind of running yeah, through with the demos SSG and setting like, up for for yep. uh, mm. for Daniel, <laughs> and, and now they're trying to do I it for AJ. Yeah, so, I just don't, I think the meta's changed. I don't think that would work anymore. Like the player, <laughs> players, <laughs> I, I, I'm <laughs> just saying that might have been comfortable in it, and they're trying to I go back to it. That's when people can aerial like you. St they're still missing like 60 percent of aerials back then like players everyone's just getting so good that i just don't think that kind of style would work you yeah. know what i mean but maybe that was their plan i just i yeah that's I all know. i think too you know complete speculation maybe it's that magic Bear or rettles uh, thought that you know t-base like what you were saying with potential right but magic bear's been in the scene for a long time so maybe the thought process is if we put him into an environment me and aj then he's going to be successful because i believe in the potential and the talent behind him and maybe it only takes one split for you to feel, start to feel differently about that. I'm not saying that's the correct thought process. I'm just speculating onto what they might be thinking in that situation. Because uh, Reynolds is in win now mode. 
Uh, obviously, you don't make a it's change everybody. after one split if you're not. But it has to be everybody. I, I've got a weird take though. Right? I've got a weird Go take ahead. about like the the one split thing. Like, do you guys think that teams actually improve in this game? Like, because I, I, I'm the only one that thinks this. Teams don't really like improve over time unless it's like three really young players. Like with Queso, there are three really young players. They improved, right? But apart from that, do teams really improve that much where they make, make like really big jumps? Oh, okay, I, hold on. Paul, I, 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 I already, know, I already, know, I already know what he's going to say. I already know what he's going to say. Jack, say. Jack, Jack, so yeah. you mean to tell me when y'all formed in September that y'all would have won the fall major if y'all played that day? No, 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 no because we, we've got like a young player in Chronic. Base. But you're, uh, <laughs> Jack. He's, say, he's saying more than one split, though, Bates. But what about, what about G2? When G2 uh, picked up G Atomic. Yeah, they, they, they won the major. G2 yeah, have whole vaulted to the they, top as soon as they added. No, atomic. no, no, hang on. No, no, no. no. You can't hang on. No, no. Yeah, yeah. G2 was already established. They, they were, picked up atomic. Yeah, they, a, I don't know if I necessarily they won, did it. No, no, no. They won the major instantly. Are you saying, like, oh, they did bad or they got sick from regional one and then they got. That's, that was where I was going. But that's like, <laughs> that's so short. Right. Yeah, yeah you can that's, improve that's regionals. Yeah. But I'm saying yeah. after a split, if you're not already there or like, re like really near, you, I don't think you're going to make like huge leaps. Like, unless you're. Well, well oh, okay. who, who's done it? Who's, who's like... Well, wait, well, it, it, in I today's lot, game... Go ahead, Rowan. I was going to say, I, I, I'm just going to add a short input. I think a lot of mental, like mental is, is chalked in a lot of players, especially like in North America. So they get stuck in this, this mindset that they can't be a top team. So they, they don't look at their own mistakes and don't ever improve from it. Like you have to... I think if teams take the extra time to look over why a team is successful and then bridge together to like come together and the chemistry is on point, you can 100% grow as a team and improve super quick. I, people yeah, get stuck. I, yeah, yeah. I see yeah. chat. I see chat saying BDS won worlds after after sucking for a split. <laughs> Bro, they got two regional wins in the second place. That is not. People whoa, just forget. Whoa, people whoa. forget about that like, online whoa. parts of like yeah, splits. BDS, 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 BDS. Might not be the best example towards the back end, but I will say, Jack, that empir empirically, like there's not a, lot, not a lot of data, not a lot of stats that 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 can go against your opinion. Yeah, <laughs> your your opinion mm -hmm. simply because this new wave of the transfer window and how quickly everybody wants okay, to win. Okay, yeah, yeah, so that's pe fair. So, pe yeah, so yeah, people yeah, don't even want to stick to try it out. That's I, fair. Uh, that's fair. I, I do I do think that teams definitely can improve like y'all y'all are playing really well and in a basically the whole entire time but and i get you by a young player in chronic but even you and nola it takes a little time to gel and i wouldn't say first first or second second regional gen g wins the major not not the way y'all not not the way y'all did the chemistry was too well too good no, I and i think that continuously grows I, and so expands what I'm, what I'm saying is right i don't mean like like we we could improve because we're already at that level like we could have like we were close right but i'm saying that if you're not already at that like really close to the major, major i don't level? see you make yeah i don't see you making like huge steps to making the major right like i don't see like a a 12th place team then making the major unless it's three really young players like like queso right in in rcs 2122 like that's what i'm i'm trying to say and and i guess optic isn't the same kind of scenario because they are close to the major but uh, I just wanted to throw the take out there, to be honest, because I was no, going that, to say that's, 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 that's not a bad, that's <laughs> that's not a bad take. That's, that's, not, that's I, not a bad take. I yeah, wanted to... Uh, go ahead, Joby. I'm sure Jack and Roll Diz can answer this question, but Roll Diz, you mentioned, like, mentality being what plateaus a lot of these pros, and uh, just based on everything I've heard, that to me, that seems like the sticking point for a lot of these players. But, like, do... do as far as pros, like, behind it, like, how many of them actually... How many teams actually get together... And watch replays how, how many teams can actually talk about each other's flaws without one getting offended and just tilting out of the lobby like obviously you get a lot of young guys in this league mm -hmm. and that's going to factor into things but i think part of the reason we don't see a lot of teams grow together over time and you see them want to switch is because of that that mental issue because they're not willing to do the hard things to have the hard conversations you don't improve if you don't have the hard conversations. And I don't know if yeah. a lot of teams do that. Yeah. Instead of having the hard conversation, they'd rather just play for another team. 100%. Yeah. yeah. 100. Go ahead, Jack. No, well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say what everyone's thinking is that everyone's like, the scene is quite young and, and, um, 
and you know changes happen quickly so changes are always going to happen quickly like you do what you see right like you everyone sees all these teams making changes so you're going to make changes fast and uh, i don't see us breaking out of that until a, a a change in it's not even a change in mentality a change has to be made in terms of like format for that to change people's mentality like mentality doesn't change unless something else affects that right like teams all of a sudden won't start sticking for longer unless something changes within the scene, uh, like an age limit increase or whatever. I mean, what if a team did decide to stick together? They did have those hard questions in this format. Would that for would that cause other teams to double th or double think? Well, second uh, guess themselves in terms of what the meta is for. I rosters? think the great the greatest testament to this uh, this team sticking together and then actually bouncing back is G two when they went to promo relegation. They went mm. to promo relegation yeah. and actually right. had the hard conversation. I've had in-depth conversations with Rizzo. He, they had hard conversations. And this is the reason why Chicago and JNAPS have been at the top for so long. is because they're open to, criticize, to criticism and criticizing the, their teammates so that they're able to improve as a team. You have to understand, like a lot of kids, they come up and then they get gassed by everybody. Yeah. So their egos get in, 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 induced through the roofs. Like they're just, <laughs> they, they can't be talked to at all. So as soon as you're able to uh, uh, calm your ego down and, and actually mellow out and then take the criticism or even just look back at your own replays. A lot of players stop looking at their own replays and stop improving. That's how you get stuck. But you go back, you change your mentality, you look at your replays, you improve as a team, and you can actually bounce back. That's why G2 was able to go from promo relegation to a top team in North America in a single season. They, they took that hard conversation, they ran with it. Yeah. 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 I agree with everything they said. Even though, but George, George is being a hater. Is what, hey, George is being a hater, low key. Because hater. the way he just said, roll this and abject. Like, I ain't got no pro experience <laughs> pro experience here. Listen, you're just like Twitter. Bates, I watched you play on LSU for like three play. years. There was nothing to say, bro. <laughs> what, you forgot about United? You forgot, my, you forgot about my RLCS oh, dubs? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you you're did. Right. Yeah, you did. You got, you, well, you, you got like one. You, you got like one dub in RLCS. I'm one of Wait, you played in RLCS? You're like these players that everyone starts gassing up, and now your ego's like up here, bro. Ego? Ego? Listen, when I was out there on the pitch, I was producing. You're just like Twitch chat. Y'all need to go do some of that. Wait, hang on. Who did you play in RCS? Who called you Twitch chat? I mean, I, I mean FaZe. F-A-Z-E. How many people what? in this world can say that? I mean FaZe. Oh, what? my what? goodness. You need to put respect. Wait, hang on. De <laughs> Detonator took a game off of FaZe, so... Okay, how, and I beat him, so what's that say? It? Exactly. I got wait, 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 do you mean in the original or in the grid? The grid. Huh? The grid. Oh, I got the grid. <laughs> bro, people are playing, people are playing upside down. People are playing on PS4s. Bro, the like, bro, the grid don't, the grid doesn't matter. The grid matters. The grid matters. Oh. Grid matter. The grid only grid the that matters is oh, the dude. one that, the one that I won. That we, we destroyed, that we line. destroyed everyone. We got like, perfect swept by every team. It's crazy. <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Y'all need to start Googling baits. I don't know. I got a little bit of sauce on me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> and thinking, I'm thinking I'm losing ass for this nonsense on Twitter. Come on now. Don't disrespect me. I love you. Nah, bro, bro <laughs> hit a double tap and, and posted it. Like, we can't right. stop that. <laughs> uh, I think he is. <laughs> uh, the, other, the only other team that made a move. Well, I mean, of course, Rise with oxygen. the Oxygen. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rise with mm. the Oxygen. But, I'm, I, but I think the biggest move that everybody talks about is the Spirit team. Now we got mm. the, we got the see play yesterday, Joe Bizzle. I believe you're you're com you're commentating them. They they still haven't reached that that uh that best team in the world prophecy prophecy uh, that you and they Johnny really, they really have, do have, have they really do in the them. first tournament game back, don't they? Uh, oh okay, hey 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 hey. hey. <laughs> That's what everybody say when they move over to NA. Hey, are you ready for uh, what, a reasonable Jordan? What, what do we what do we think about Lost and Furia and what their expectations going into this play? Well, uh, expectations have to be higher, right? Like Lost is has been playing like one of the best players in the world. I think that adding him to the team is, is definitely a buff. You know, I, I've talked up Kayo all the time, but Lost is a much different player than Kayo. You can't, you can't deny that at all. And look, we've all been watching the twos videos with Yan and Lost. All of us want to mm -hmm. see these guys play together. But in the tiebreaker, I'm actually really happy that they had to play this tiebreaker because it was good. They got a lot of data. And that data is, you are not better than the rest of North America. They are all just as good as you. It, it was frustrating at times because Yan and Lost, they, they just want to beat everybody with their mechanics. And I feel like that's how Furia yeah. came in 
at the start of fall. It's just solo air dribbles. Let's see if we can force a 50 uh, or, or get a bad touch and then score. But, like, that doesn't work. Like, Complexity's defense was immaculate yesterday. They couldn't do anything. A, a raise bowl just had perfect touches the whole time. But, uh, like, you have to be able to – I felt like Card was the only guy playing like he was on a team yesterday. A if this team can, can actually get on the same page mentally – they're, they're, da they're dangerous against anybody because there were flashes where you see, okay, now you guys are thinking like a team. You went for the demo. Card went for a drop pass. You were ready for it. Like, the ideas are there. I just don't think they're, like, talking to each other. It's frustrating because there's so much talent for them to not be scoring, like, more than three goals a game. They, they have to find a way to put it together. I'm a little worried, but I am happy they were able to clutch three things out against, uh, against Optic. <laughs> <laughs> three yeah. man said three goals a game, man. He said they should walk out there and just start popping out goals left and right, up and down. <laughs> well, you got, you got, look, you got, look, look three everyone goals under, a game. Everyone underrates card, three but you put Lost and Yan on the same I'll team. It should be three goals a game. I'll give you like 1.6 goals a game or something like that. Maybe 1.6? Yeah, this is about Pittsburgh RCF, Knights. Baby. What are you talking about? Pittsburgh, hey. Dang, hey, dang. And I love, hey, I love the Knights. I love Apparently not. Not as much as Fury. Not as much as Jack, Jack, the Mar, Raul, what do we think about this lost team? What, what, what are we thinking about this new look for uh, you? I'll, I'll let the other two go first. Nah, I'll oh, let okay, the other oh, two okay, go okay, first. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> go ahead, Demar. Oh, I'm going first. My bad, I didn't hear it. Um, mm, this is this is interesting. Uh, see, I knew. I knew Fury were looking at loss. I, I I remember hearing about the conversations. I ain't gonna talk. I ain't gonna say no names. Uh. And yeah, they were looking at him for a while. Now they finally got him. I, I, and I, I can understand it looks shaky, but I feel like they have to make the major. You you have to make the major now. Like oh, okay, 100%. that was the expectation beforehand. So let's 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 well, let's, let's, let's control that. Are they gonna make the major with this move? It's like a major move. Is this a lock? Is, like are they locked for the major now? Probably picking mm. up lost. That's the question that's on the table right now. Honestly, I think so. They're I'm locked. Gonna say, I'm I'm gonna lock them only because they. <laughs> oh, They're locked. I, I, I think I'm gonna lock them. Well, it, it's so tough to tell. Ah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lock them for yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna it's lock. Not, it's not that hard. It's not. I'm, that hard. I'm gonna lock them only because I feel like the other the other the other team that took the spot V1 is not. It's not gonna be a good split for them. I don't, I don't think you want to have a good split because all the news. I think, oh I think, my. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if Comp can. <sighs> How many times have we heard V1 that V doubted and yeah, then they win a regional every, every they confirmed or like, That's true. What? I, didn't, I don't think I had Fury going to fall major last time around. I think I, if any so team what? misses, it might be yeah, SSG. Okay, right, if you're going to anyone who yeah. made the made yeah, the major la in fall. On, on, on the pre-show, I did have NLG. Exactly, you did. Bro. I think DeMar is delusional. <laughs> Fury is not a lock. <laughs> What we just saw yesterday was complexity, absolutely. Just, they, they, they said, yeah, we've been here, little bro. We've been here. And you want to make a move now? Because we made a move? <laughs> hey, guess what? You're moving too fast. And then you slow it down. <laughs> and now you're, you're playing the play style that we just got used to playing for so long. Every top NA team, except the ones that can implement that EU play style where they actually use each other and pass the ball around. Every top team solo plays everything. We're used to this. You guys want to do this? We can. De we can defend all of this all day, all day long. You, you, you notice how complexity? Like it, it was seriously every single time. It was a, a perfect trap ball up the back wall, and like, okay, what are you gonna do now? You wasted all your boosts. You mm -hmm. got nothing. An easy transit. Like so many transition passes that just went by the entire Furia rotation. <laughs> And then when they do get opportunities, hurt, guess what? Lost, <laughs> Lost is moving hurt. 200 miles per hour and can't, and can't jump up for the ball. Hurt, Dude, I, think, I think Loss boost wasted like metric has to be sky. Oh my, Joby, that. you're so mm. hurt. It's personal. We get it. You're Skip Bayless <laughs> on the Cowboys. Jack, Jack, <laughs> right, what do you right. think about Fury, man? Lost, does the, the play style, the, this play style that they are currently having is not is not going to work, right? Because Lost Talk and you. Yan will not fit together in a team. I, I truly believe that right now. If... I think if Jan goes defensive and, and kind of holds his boost more, let let Lost Ball chase, and then when he has the ball, then he uses his boost to make a play, that will work. I think that'll be mm -hmm. a great team. But I don't believe they will do that because I think that the ego on this team would be way too high. And I think that they have a fair reason to have a very high ego because 
that lost and Jan are two of the top ten, you know, most mechanical players in the world it easily, if not higher. And and you fit in card in there, and he's up there as well. You know, he might not be as mechanical, but he's crazy, right? So I think that they're going to be very kind of just want to solo play of him. From what I've seen so far, it seems to be the case. Um, I think the talent on this team, you know, if they fix that out and and kind of talk about the play style they want to play, you know, I think that it will work and they'll be top five. But uh, do that? Do I think they'll do that? Um, no, I don't think they'll do that. I, I, I just lost. It needs a player, a team to play around him. I, I truly believe that, and and um, this team won't. I don't think. But Look, I'll give I'll give Yan a, a little bit of credit yesterday because I was kind of picking on him when I was calling the game because he was getting, uh, he was getting picked on for his optimistic positioning, and I think like three optimistic. or four goals went in against complexity. <laughs> Yeah, optimistic, because third man creeping up beyond the midfield line when he had no business doing so. It, it, it almost looked too easy at times. Yan, Yan just took himself out of position for no reason. So I, I kind of agree with you. If Yan just, if he stays back, if he's pa- not stays back, but if he's just more patient and he lets the play develop, because I don't think Yan likes letting the play develop. This guy thinks he's the fastest player in the world. He thinks that he can beat absolutely everybody with his game. He can outplay you because he's Yan. But... Uh, look, ah, uh, man, I love Yan. I love Furia, but like the, the boys got to eat. Depth. They got to eat a little humble pie. You got to <laughs> yeah. eat a little humble okay. pie. Too. Okay, okay. The, game, the game is getting too in depth for solo players to like to like carry nowadays. I got Skip and I got Shannon. I'm gonna leave. I got Skip and I got Shannon. I need. All right, we've been talking about this all day. We gotta move a little bit on. We've been okay. on this for a minute. Of course, oxygen rise. We'll probably get into that a little bit later. That's a uh, upgrade, of course. Um, oxygen, one of the best teams in the world. Yeah. Uh, def- most definitely now, it's just in case they weren't. But as we move along, this is the first time I've done a transition on the show, by the way. We're going to move over to the retirement home. Somebody had to get parked up in there. Who joined it? Who joined the retirement home? Shock. Nathan, roll your former teammate. Your former teammate, your former player, too. I believe you coached him maybe at some point. Uh, I, I most and, definitely did coach he him. Annou- he announced his retirement from Rocky League. Well, from uh, competing, I should say. He said something about coaching. Uh, do we have a, Do we have the tweet? Do we have the tweet on there? Let's yeah, get the do. tweet up. Hi, for those who are just audio listeners, hi everyone. Just went to officially announce my retirement from playing professionally. I'll be looking to transition into coaching, both for a team and for individuals in the near future, as well as starting my stream back up soon. Thanks to all who made RL, who made playing RL special part. End quote. Shock. Hundred twenty five thousand views on his tweet. Another 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 OG of the game. Well, not OG in the RLCS, but OG grinder of the game, p- p- packing up the packing up the competition boots, putting on his coaching 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 shoes, and go, hopefully gonna try to make some team shake. Uh, is that the only retirement that we had that we, that we had during the during the break? <sighs> Rizzo, second retirement. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> he second never came out. Wait, no, no, he's he's. <laughs> No, no, he's, yeah, he's playing. Oh, he's still playing. He's playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys oh, didn't yeah, see okay. the scrim. They actually scrimmed like yeah. a, a like a decent like team oh, of players. Yeah, you they, did were, tweet they were winning. Last night. Mm-hmm. They would. Yeah. Luna's good. Luna yeah, be Rizzo grinding. Was... Luna wants to make it pro. Luna, Luna wants to make it pro. Well, so Luna's bad. good. Yeah, Luna's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know why he's teamed with. Okay, it doesn't. Uh, that doesn't <laughs> really what was the to... same deal? Oh, Jack. Oh, oh, no. Jack is gone. Oh, no. He's gone. Now Pr Jack was about to slip. He was about to slip. He was about to slip. No, but I just like if you really want to go pro, I'm sorry, but why are you like wasting a few no, minutes? No, it's for the right exposure. It's for right the exposure. No, but he's not doing anything with it. He's not streaming or or making videos. Like, uh, it don't, his name's out there now. People are gonna say, "Where's Luna?" Mm-hmm. It's like it's like uh, the Aqua nope. effect. You know when Aqua used to play with um with in, with Garrett and all them in ranked, and people would be like, "What's Aqua doing? What's Aqua doing?" Luna yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. say they got 2,700 names watching them. They got Luna going to work. Yeah, to a point, they they started comparing Aqua to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a delusional take, but uh, <laughs> a delusional take. Yeah, but like, look, like, like Luna, Luna just making his name out there. I, I think he's been grinding rank for the longest time. But uh, this, yeah. obviously, the segment is not about Luna. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had a couple. We had a couple more retirements. Sprat from OCE and and Sicky as well. OCE OG. That's a that's a name for all it the OGs is, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. That, that, mm-hmm. Those two OCE players did retire as well. Oh, a lot of retirements. Um, Raul, you always retire way before them, and Jack's got about another six years before he retires, maybe even seven, depending on depending on how the career's looking. But, uh, but maybe <laughs> maybe shock, sure. maybe shock will get the Diz buff because I'm I'm not gonna lie, Roll Diz, you were fun to watch as a player, but man, I love watching you on the stage as a coach. 
I think yeah, Shock, Shock is uh, an extremely intellectual. Uh, we we almost had Shock, uh, Shock segment on FT. I think we might have to bring that where oh, uh, yeah. he gave us a word a week <laughs> because oh, the, the, yeah, the words he would yeah, Shock's an extremely intelligent player. Uh, always has been, um, and I think he could bring a lot to a, a roster, especially off the field. Now that he yeah. doesn't have to focus on grinding his mechanics or anything like that. Because, well, you know, me and Shock always go back. We were never known for our mechanics. But when we pulled it off, it was it was something special. But he's definitely going to bring something unique to a, to a roster. I, he, I think he, he could be that. a great coach. I really yeah. do. Yeah. I really, really do. I think he's a very smart player. He he, he has, like a, like, a mind for, like, 50s in the game. And I really like that in the player. And I think that anyone who has that will do well in coaching. It's it's all about, like, personality, though, coaching. A lot of it mm. is. Like, you have to mesh well with different people. That's why, like, Roll Diz works so well as a coach. Because you're hype. You know, you've got a great personality. Um, I've never teamed with, with Shark. I've spoke to him in person. But, you know, people are outside the game and inside the game. They're two different people. So, I don't know how his personality, 100%. you know, will fit as, as a coach. But um, but I think if it if it does, he'll be he'll be really good. Man, yeah, I nice. remember. Uh, I remember watching Shock back when he was still playing in community tournaments when community orgs were still a thing. Man, <coughs> I, feel, I feel old. He really, he, like you said, Bates. He's definitely an OG. Maybe not RLCS. But he's like, playing CRO. Remember that UIUC with go. Navy Striker. Yeah, I do. And uh, Soul Flares and uh, Tide Striker. He was or actually the, the uh, one player we're talking about Ty season Scripper. nine of being like, look. CRL helped uh, helped improve uh, this player to where he got season nine MVP in North America. And Tristan, uh, I Tristan. remember talking about that. Yeah, Tristan too. Mm -hmm. So Tristan, couple, yeah, couple, couple great players in CRL. Man, CRL is great, man. By the way, mm -hmm. about to start up very soon. So just pay attention to Kalicha leagues. Pioneer the low fifty, man. I remember <laughs> there was what what series was it? It was a long time ago. It, it was an important one. And I remember, like, clock was ticking down, and literally, Shock was on the ball. It got, like, a low 50. It was either Shock or Raul. I think it was, like, a ghost match. And one of them got, like, a low 50 in front of the net to, like, send them to, like, playoffs or something like that. Like, to see to see Shock, he, uh, in the scene, one, has been very, uh, I'd say, outspoken in a good way. He's always been very analytical in whenever he speaks about uh, but he's also carried himself throughout his career very well, very professionally. Uh, and I think he's going to continue to do that uh, in his coaching so no matter what. So uh, although it is sad to see him not on the field as a player anymore, I think I'm looking forward to seeing what he does as a coach. 100%. Hey, but that takes us to the next oh gosh. segment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The transfer, let's transfer into the next segment, which is the transfer window. And we're talking about the time limit that we have in between since a lot of it goes um, during the holiday. So that, there's been a lot of problems with uh, teams having issues, like like last second changes happening. Uh, what are we? What is our opinions on this, Jorbe? Uh, I don't think that there's any situation in our current format, the way the league is currently structured for these types, of, these types of things are always going to happen. There's always going to be a last minute change that someone makes and it may or may not affect someone on another team. These things just happen. Um, and, and there's not really much you can do to prevent it. Cause if you extend right. deadlines, really you're just, you're just lengthening the domino chain, right? So to try to prevent the issue that we had with the potential issue that would have arose with a player being stranded before the season's like a day before the split mm -hmm. started. I think you need a, a totally new format. Orgs need rules around what they can and can't do with the player. To mm. me, I think, I, I think that, and I'm going full solution mode here. Full um, solution mode then. The solution mode is that if, and it's hard to force orgs to do anything in this open format because players own the spots, right? But if you forced orgs when they sign a player to, uh, be responsible for their salary for the entire season. And if they want to get rid of that player, they're still on the hook for that contract. Uh, or they, if they're trading them to another org, those <coughs> orgs figure out who's paying the salary. Every other sport does this. Every other sport has, the, has some type of restriction on what you can and can't do to a player. The problem is, is that there's nothing, there, there's nothing that forces organizations to have to do that in our current format, it's going to be hard to prevent last minute changes from happening because if a player becomes available last minute and you're, we just talked about it, you're in win now mode as a mm -hmm. team. Of course, you're going to go for it. Like screw it. It doesn't matter. Let's just go get this player. Let's figure this split out. We know we're going to be better with them. 
So I think that, you know, I've seen a lot of opinions around about last minute changes and, oh, V1 are terrible or optic. How could they do that? And honestly, the orgs are just the players are just working within the system that they're given. And I don't think yeah. you can blame anybody for uh, for the, the moves or when they made them. You, you can make your, your moral statements about whatever you think. But uh, to me, it's just this is just the way the system is, man. Yeah, hundred percent. It's the game, and it? it's the game. Like you can't, you can't blame the players. You can't. Uh, I don't think you blame the org either. If you're, I think you have to blame the kind of the system. You know, the format of how it is, uh, and that's not on the players or the org to decide that. Um, I, and I, I'm not gonna say I'm. I, I'm not gonna pretend I know what the answer is for this because a part of me believes that there's there's no answer and that this is just <laughs> you know a part it's part of the job I, I, truly yeah. a part of me does believe that but i'm sure that there's solutions in sports like you said that have these types of things um and i've not just seen them so i'm always open to hearing stuff about this but a, a genuine part of me does believe that you just got to deal with this sort of stuff um it sucks but it, you know players shouldn't be scrutinized for it um I, I don't care if you don't like a player and use this as a as a way to kind of hate on them more um, if it, if you if they don't do it, someone else will do it to them. And mm -hmm. sometimes you have to be selfish to succeed in this scene. Um, and sometimes, if a change, or a lot of the time, if a change is going to happen, or if a change happens, it's because it's it was going to happen anyway. It needs to happen. It's usually better for all parties involved. I think it's on the players to kind of negotiate a better contract in their favour to not let this happen to them, um, because I don't see the format changing. Uh, so it's just on the player. And if any think, player is smart, they would do themselves. I think it's bad uh, for like the league health that this type of thing can happen consistently because you don't want you don't want star. You don't want good players to be stranded without a team for a split. Right. And you especially mm -hmm. don't want a player who relies on this game for their income to to get stranded randomly. Yeah, because even yeah. a couple of months off could, could really put you in a bad spot to where you might even be considering like whether you can continue with the career. Plus. Who knows what happens that split and everybody's happy with their teams and now you can't find anybody, you know? Do you I, think I, 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 I was going to say, uh, I was going to just put a general question out. Do you think like maybe uh, contract terms or not contract terms, but the, the date of a, a player's contract ending should be something that's public to, for, to other teams and so that everybody gets prepared for a transfer window? Yeah, I, I I always think transparency is a, a good thing when it comes to contracts. I think at the I very agree. least, every yeah. other player should know. Uh, I, I I'm kind of on the fence about like the public, but I do think every player, everyone involved in the league should know, because uh, that transparency only helps players. Oh mm -hmm. well, actually, well, well, most of the players will know. You hear stuff. You talk to the players. We we pretty much tell each other, you know, salaries. Uh, everything in, involved in the contract and like um, mm. you know how long it is um, even though we're not well I think it's up to us if we can say that you know and, and most players do know each other's do you believe the public should know or no yeah I, I think they should I think contracts I think we're, we're you know we're adults or most of us are I think it's fair to kind of have this transparency because I think it, it helps everyone it's not like a, exactly it's not a bad thing mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. No, I, be yeah I, guess, to... I guess my my stance was just like I don't like I don't think the public is entitled to that information. So I feel like I, I am kind of like. Yeah, I'm sure every Yahoo in uh, Twitch chat is like is one. But uh, they deserve but, to know. But Joby, is it? I don't think it's a, it's about whether they're entitled because no one's entitled to anything, right? But it's not for them; it's for the players. Well, I think if the right, if the public right. know, I think it's better for the players, you know. And the public, I'm sure they want to know as well, you know. I, th I think it's fair. That's fair, well, yeah. especially since you have like media outlets now, like Shift. Uh, no. Bates, are you trying to get in here? I'm sorry. Well, no, well, no, well, no. I'm definitely <laughs> entitled to quite a many things. Now, we don't have to go through the whole entire list, but I'm definitely entitled for ability to have some health care and the ability to eat. So that, I hear, that, I hear how right. you talk about your, your playing days. So, so, you know, so no, yeah. no doubt you're entitled. So, so, yeah, I'm entitled to a couple of things. There's some, a couple of things that I just need to have fundamentally. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, right. The, mo the, mo the moment I exist in this world. Um, <laughs> I mean, let me hop into this little conversation y'all are having. Joe Bizzle, you gotta think about it this way: if you're a young, if you're a young cat grinding the game, and your parents on the fence saying this is a waste of time, you have absolutely nothing to look at at the moment that shows you how much apparently Jack is making in Rocket League. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If your player is really good, and if yeah. you're, if, if the player is really good, but he can't make it to the league, he has absolutely nothing to look at to see how much coach is making. 
Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's, that's right. up and see how much a general manager is making. You don't know how much any of these, any of this making. When I look at basketball, football, baseball, when I look at being a lawyer, a doctor, uh, uh, a sanitation engineer, uh, 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 I can go. I can keep on going. I know exactly how much all these people are making. I know the general ranges. I know this person makes forty thousand, one hundred fifty. I know this person making eighty thousand or two million. It's in that range. And Rocket League, I have no idea. I can't tell if this person is actually making two thousand. If he's making twenty five thousand a month, I have no clue. I think right. that, the other, the other thing that, like, Bates, you, you pulled me off the fence. Not, uh, I, I, wasn't, <laughs> I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I I, yeah, I wasn't necessarily. Well, you weren't saddled that hard either. then. That, that was easy. That, that was easy. <laughs> no, yeah. Like I said, no, like I said, I wasn't saddled. It was, it was more so just being like, because like, I, I'm always for transparency in a lot of things in a lot of industries, but sometimes it, like, is it, uh, like, is it completely necessary? So I was just playing games in my own brain, but I, I think you're totally right about that. So I am off the fence. Hey. Um, We'd love to see you that. Probably a great lawyer. Look at lawyer, lawyer so Bates. I moved it so fast. It was yeah, so easy for me. You actually made it work. See, me, I just want to know how much somebody makes so I can, so when they miss an important area, like I said, you're making $100,000 <laughs> a year. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that you're shot. You're making $20,000 a month and you can't make that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just, just get on the soliloquy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like all that would be would be great. And even even, even like so... Like uh, even on the broadcast, I was watching the Madden broadcast, and they really be they really be hyping up the amount of money people be making. Yeah, <laughs> people but, be making it, so many... Hang on, sorry to cut you off, but like, is it Go different ahead. with with like because players are 15, 16, 17. That's what I was thinking. Is it vulnerable? Like, are they vulnerable if you kind of? I don't. I don't know. I'm not you know as experienced as you guys, so like, I just don't know. Right? Like, is that a kind of vulnerable a vulnerability issue? Or no. I mean, even even young players, they still have Asians, they still have parents, right? So mm -hmm. that there is some sort of representation and, and some adult force behind them. Uh, obviously, like that conversation notwithstanding, I think that um, I don't know. I feel like it's still good to be transparent, even if there are teenagers making that money. Um, kind of back to what Bates was saying to help encourage more kids to join. Uh, and help parents help parents see the legitimacy. Be like, wow, this person's seventeen year old son is making like thousands of dollars a month because uh, he signed with this org because he's really good at this video game. I think having that information on hand and publicly available is, is definitely a good thing, even if you are a young kid, because uh, it's not the kids signing the contracts themselves, right? Your right. parents have to co-sign on that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you, that's that's like you need the parents to be involved at that point it's like not every you parent do. is involved and do we yeah. also want to be encouraging young kids to be playing 10 hours a day because they see a 16 year old making 150,000 a year i, I don't know well uh, i mean that's the um, that's the age limit conversation right, right yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> i yeah. think it all ties into right. one um i don't know yeah. how much time we have so i won't be saying anything on that regard but yeah I'm trying oh, to get all yeah. philosophical <laughs> <laughs> i mean there, there's like there's balances to everything, right? And I think yeah. uh, the average salary, if, we, if we're going to do this, the average salary in like uh, the United States, I think it's like 45. So if you see a young gun making 160000 a year, then I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like that. That You'll is see the parents oh, get involved then. And that's a way of life. Like you can, you can create so much after it too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jack, you were out there grinding for probably eight hours a day, and look where he's got you right now. He's sat in a whole building out there, and wherever you're at. Yeah, but we we can't take we can't take examples from a from a from the outliers to to use Correct. that to make that's true kind of informed decisions yeah. on the general you know public. Mm -hmm. Like that's not how you do things. Like because obviously the pros are the outliers, right? Like there's no way there's no way I should have been pro, but I'm lucky. You know what I mean? It's like that's what it is, right? Mm. But yeah, then, okay, I guess no, he's lucky. There are, no, I don't know, that, you don't right. just fall into being a pro. Like. No, of course, there's steps I take, but I'm sure I'm, I, I absolutely promise you, I'm not even like, I don't even think this. I, I know that there are players that, that do more, that did more than me, grinded more than me, that will never make it because sometimes I don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe it's like an intrinsic like value that some pros have, you know, a part, mm -hmm. like that's part from them, a part of them, but I, I don't know what it is, but some players will just never make it. So I, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one. That's a tough one. Okay, I see. I see. You're trying to make you're trying to make it sound like you're average. It's not like you're trying to make it average. You're lucky for. Well, oh, let okay. me just list off a couple of abject abject uh, accomplishments to, say, to let y'all all know why he made it pro. <laughs> a lot of people don't make it pro. One, Jack was in the bubble scene. He was playing two v twos with a who? Dead monster. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you used to play Tombs of Dead Monster. And then after that, you know what Abjack did that a lot of people don't do and they still don't do it? He went and made a YouTube. And he got really good at the game mode that gets you views on YouTube, <laughs> aka 1v1. Yeah. And through the 1v1 exposure, which is a lot, how a lot of these pros nowadays make a profile, way to let y'all know you hit, get on Johnny Boy's stream. It can get you somewhere. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. And Johnny, but with the combination of Johnny Boy's stream being great at 1v1 and having a YouTube channel, he gets more exposure than everybody <laughs> else out there who's just grinding. And that's why yeah. he is sat here today talking. On his show, and that's why he's a major champion. I, I do so, think that, so. That does play I, a factor. That is true. Rob Wall players get so overrated that you get tryouts that you shouldn't get. <laughs> no, you, you changed it. I got the, all the tryouts that I had. I should never have gotten. I wasn't well, good enough, and I just improved quickly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, the trials help you improve, Jack. That's all I yeah, got. I mean, you listed off all those accomplishments, and you talk about Jack being in the bubble, but I can't help but think about what Jack just said about. These kids putting in long hours when you're 15, 16 years old, I mean, even younger, like there, there are 13 year old kids out there right now that are dreaming about their RLCS debut. And I just don't know if a 13 year old should have to be thinking about their RLCS debut two years later. I don't know if a 15 year old can balance, uh, you know, getting an education versus grinding 10 hours a day. Some pros have made it work. Jack obviously has made it work and he's smart, so he must have paid attention in school. But I, I think it's like that that work ethic that you need, like Bates, the, the work ethic you're talking about, like that's something you build. It takes over special time. individuals. Yeah. It, you know, it's mm -hmm. something you have to you have to build. And for some people, it takes longer than others. Some people that's might right. not hit that ethic until they're in their twenties. And I think that's, that's right. a lot of people. You know, that's, that's like a life thing too. Though I mean, that's people life play thing, mm -hmm. people yeah. play sports like when they're yeah. kids. You know what I mean? Like I think it's different. They, yeah, but they, they don't, they're doing There's it after limit. school. There's yeah. a limit to how much you can play sports. That's true. There's yeah. no physical limit to how much you can play a game. You know, you know, I can't play uh, like a, a sport. For a limit how much I can play sports. Jack, that might have been you, but let me know. Tell me, tell you, <laughs> eight year eight year old Bates until I was about sixteen. Maybe you're different. Maybe you're different. I sat out there after school every day, and I was hooping for eight hours a day and until the <laughs> lights went off. I was out there. I'm just letting everybody know. That's why I used to do. Uh, that's why I used to do. There's a lot of people that do that, man. So. It, it just depends. It's about it's about the balance. If, above all else, about having the support group behind you. Mm -hmm. and that's, that that that's why I just think like having the yeah. having the money thing out there will maybe even incentivize parents to like see it properly and like see like this could be a thing. But of course, you guys still got to prioritize the school. You got to prioritize the health. You right. got to prioritize the well being, yep. the development, the growth, the culture. That's and what I mean, that's what and I mean man. You're you're not old enough to make a decision that you want to be a professional. But that's oh, what yeah. I was, that's Most what I was gonna say no, though. Definitely. But like even then, like. For example, we'll just use basketball as an example. There's kids who play basketball from when they're a kid. Their parents put them in AAU. You know, they try, they do all this stuff, and some of them still don't even make the league. You know, for for whatever reason, whatever not, then they had to go play in like some like mini league, and like that's like their life type of deal. So yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's with everything. Like you go into it, you might not necessarily know how it's gonna pan out, but I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just like one of those life decisions. If that's you got that you dream, you yeah. got that hope, and you gotta have that balance. Yeah, and the support, the dream, the hope, the hunger. Like I think, I think it would be it would be stupid to kind of crush people's dreams if they want to if they love playing video games then chase it you know what i'm saying chase it yeah, make no, it 100%. like you got to love Absolutely. it that much you know and, and there's always a balance it. with everything though like you, you, yeah. you there has to be a balance like because you're gonna have people say oh like why are we talking about this like like you said you just gotta chase your dreams but you should still be talking about how to protect people that don't understand some of the kind of downsides of things because yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. everyone yeah. is naive everyone it's not a bad thing you know why why should you not be naive when you don't have the experience you know you don't you shouldn't expect that from people so we should be getting these opinions from people who have that experience to, to yeah. kind yeah. of you know choose how the the younger kind of generation hey. deal with that but hey you know what i thought of jack that's a youtube series right there yeah maybe maybe that's a youtube series for you man you talk about the talk about how you came up or you kind of go you know what i'm saying yeah 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 my my journey yeah. it's been a pro journey the journey that's what i'm saying that's all youtube already. documentary <laughs> put, your, put, your, put yourself in put yourself in 14 year old Jack's shoes. What would you like to say to him? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, uh, oh, God. oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, views, Jack. he said, go to church. Give me your views, Jack. Yeah. Listen, we can talk about this all day. That's a great this is a great discussion. And uh we got the right people on to talk about this as well. We got some two two deep thinkers. One 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 is Jack. Uh, you're 19 now? Uh, I am, yeah, yeah. Jack, we got 19. Jack's like he's 30, and Jor Bizzle. Jor, all he needs is a great beard, and he'll be an 80 year old philosopher. Call him Socrates. <laughs> anyways, anyways, <laughs> we're going to move on to the Shift Top 20. Oh, no. It's been about an hour on the show. Shift Top 20. I think we're, you know, some would say we're behind, but to me, we're right on time because this is the worst <laughs> Top 20 ever. Shift, I don't know who you had, but.
Bowden on this list, but they need to take the Rocket League carbs, they need to have them in their hand, they need to just tear them apart and just never give it back to them. They don't know anything about the game <laughs> itself. For those y'all don't know, Shift is an organization started up. You saw JC's profile picture of you here all the way to the beginning of the show. He's a part of Shift team alongside Achilles and everybody else in between. They're a great thing. Handle all the transfer window. They handle, they've handle. they been adding stats. They're, they've been adding articles. They've been working hard, but this top 20 list is the worst thing they've ever done, and I'll tell you why. Can we get some of the images up, please? Images of where they've ranked people. So this is a top 20, by the way. Let me set let me set the parameters around. This is an Hold interesting on, it's an inter it's huh? an interesting way the of facts, uh, right screenshotting there. this. But the top the top 20 list <laughs> is based off of from January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. So it's the calendar year of 2022. Nothing else. Here's the top 20 players. We had a couple screenshots of them. First off, first killer is at number two. That's interesting. That's facts. Um, that, that's an interesting Let's position for it. first killer being at number two. With absolutely Look at no Let's victories. prove it. There, there, there's, there, there's, uh, how many lands was there? There was four. Let's hey, prove it. Let's prove it. Let's prove it. There was none of them. Let's move on here. Number two, first killer. Number two, first killer right there. Yeah, see. We, we just got a couple highlights. Say, huh? Go a couple ahead, highlights. Easy. What's the yeah. next one? Monkey Moon at number four. Uh, the reigning world champion. The reigning world champion MVP. If I do, if I, if I, if my memory serves me correct, right? Right? Or what's that Seiko? I think ah, it was Seiko, mind. brother. Never mind. Seiko, Seiko, Good Seiko's trial. MVP. But hey, that makes it even worse because now Seiko, Seiko's Seiko. even further down this list. And so oh. we're going to keep moving along. Monkey Moon at number four. What was another highlight we had here? Where's another one? Where's another one? There it Seiko is. number seven. Oh, there he is. Oh, look, look at that. Seiko number seven, the reigning. World Championship MVP, sad number seven at the moment. Um, I think Seiko seven's crazy. That, he that, be that's way a, that's a, that's nah, a nah, interesting. I, I, that's I'm interesting. So I'm I'm Jack, we'll Jack, Jack, we'll get your opinion on yeah, it in just yeah, a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think we have maybe one or two more screenshots of the list. Jay Nabs at number eleven. Oh, Captain Canada, Captain Ooh. Canada at number eleven for the year 2022. After he dominated and won, a, won the Winter Major. That one's for fun. last year. That 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 that, that was, in, that, that, that was uh, interesting as well. So that so hold on, let me find let me find let me find the overall list. Where where's is that? Well, well, I'm gonna let y'all deliberate about this list for a second while I go find while I go find the whole list, as I cannot find it at the moment. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say about the list is that the list is for the year, which yep. I don't think should have. We should just not do that ever anymore. Just do a list for the season. The season goes from mm -hmm. one year into another. Like, you might as well just have that be the case. This whole year thing causes so much more confusion and makes it so much more weirder and partially unnecessary. Because then you have, like, Monkey Moon's fall major performance. You didn't do one for um, 21. So, or wait, Monkey Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, you don't get, like, those performances factored in. You might as well just do one for the entire season. That was my biggest gripe about it, besides... Where all the other places are, but I'm, I'm gonna let y'all kind of discuss. They that. did do one for 21. They okay. Do, yeah, it was it was under Octane. They just oh, transferred over. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. This list was so basically, I, I, I just want to give like a quick like background. This list was done by like a committee, and it wasn't really sh it was it wasn't actually shift. It was it was the Octane uh, committee, and then they transferred over. And the names aren't public of who who kind of uh, you know gave their rankings in, but one is, and that's that's John John Ako was on Reddit because he put his out. But the others aren't public. Um, so there's a group of people, and then they kind of got the the average. I, I don't think it's like it's terrible. Hold on, hold on, Jack. Some, hold on, Jack. Before, before you get on your tangent, I got the list now. I found all right, it. All right, go all on. right. So here's your top 20 players of the year 2022. I'm going to go real slow so y'all can keep up. Matter of fact, DeMar, can you type it out in the chat? So we can type it out in the chat as I go. Uh, no, because I'm not so, logged in. Okay, well, no, never mind. <laughs> um, hold on, you want me in, in FT? In FT? No. Yeah, it's talking about FT. Oh, well, I in Twitch that. Chat. I thought you were I went in Twitch, Twitch chat. chat. I thought oh, I went, I went in Twitch, Twitch chat, but you're fine. Hey, he Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, okay. Astro at number 20. Calm 19. Noli 18. Typical 17. Where's the next one there? Atachi 16. TRK 15. Abjack 14. Chicago 13. Extra, extra at 12. JNAP's 11. Daniel 10. Joyo 9, Yan at 8, Seiko 7, Beast Mode 6, Atomic 5, Monkey Moon 4, and your top three is Rise, First Killer, then Vatira. Th th those are the rankings. Those are the rankings there. Just want to put that out there. A couple question marks already know in the chat. I don't need to look at them. Abjack, go ahead. 
what are you right. about to say about the list? Okay, so th there's definitely some issues, but it's not it's not like it's not like deserve this much hate. I don't think. Like, so my my things right is that Nolly should be higher. I should be lower because we've had like the same split, but then he's just done better throughout the year. And then I think G two should be higher, like in the top ten, like Chicago and J Naps. With BDS, I d I don't know what everyone like with the world thing. How how much like higher do you guys value worlds or because it's just one tournament or are you literally saying ah oh, because it's the world championship there should be way more weight to it like how how much more weight are you guys putting on the on the worlds because I don't I personally don't know if if much more weight should be added onto that because um, it's not like we saw a difference in in skill or like in gameplay it's not like players got worse because there's more pressure so why should we add more weight to it do you, do you get what I'm saying. Well, that's kind of why, like, for, for me personally, I don't have a ton. I think team results, like, definitely play into the equation, but I think people weigh team results too heavily in general, uh, not just based on the event that they play in. Like, everybody talking about their top 20 list and every argument that they're coming up with is like, well, they're placements. Well, they're play. Okay, well, look, this is a team sport, all mm -hmm. right? And, like, we've, we've exa we have examples of plenty of teams that play above their station individually. Uh, and, and I think that when you're ranking individual performance, like even a player on an average team could have a top 20 play, like player season. You know what I mean? If, if like individually they stand out. But I, I think a lot of people like rate team results pretty highly. And I think that's fine if you're ranking teams, but that's not what this is. Yeah, but you got to take into like you got to take team into a, into a little bit. Else you could put a little bit, yeah. You know, you could put a player on a, a top twelve NA team because they got a really good rating in the top ten. You know what I mean? Also, yeah. I just want my last point about the worlds thing is that the worlds didn't have the five best like Europe and NA teams there. Like we like dig at the time, Liquid were better than us, and we but we were at worlds and they weren't. So why are we taking worlds into account so much for this? Wait a second. No, listen. Go, why are we taking into account worlds so much when the top five from EU <sighs> weren't even there? Right. The, the, <sighs> the tournament. You could say it was easier. Easier. But because wait, the top, uh, the, the, uh, the real top five was not there. You cannot say. Ah! I'm sorry. Dignitas Ooh. was not top five at that time in Europe. Liquid were better than us, I but they weren't there. Argument. So I think um, I think it's fair for that specific example. I think you can you can say like the best five teams weren't there. Interesting, interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. Y'all say y'all say that. Jack, all right. I had to do so. I had to make sure I typed out the list so people in chat could follow oh, along. Oh, pinned it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, it's time from now. It's time for me to get back on you, Jack. That's a absolutely ridiculous take worlds matter so much more than all these other tournaments and that's that's just the facts of the matter world is the world championship that was what everybody was so hyped for that's why i got like 500 600 000 views live that's why there were 10 000 people up in there that's why you had all the lights because the world championship everything else is a major so that automatically should trump everything else if you if we decredit worlds that much then we might as well not even have it they all should just be majors uh and yeah, not it's, it's about, not discrediting the best teams it's not we're discrediting the worlds players. I'm just saying the world players. champion. You if you win, the, if you win matters. worlds, if you win worlds, you don't just you get put at number world, one. You, you don't just yeah. get. You shouldn't get put at number one just because you win worlds. No, you shouldn't automatically. Yeah, that's right. You like, like automatically, automatically be put at number one. So just what? You so worlds. what? Where would you but put him on the list? Are you going to put him above Vitero, like Rise or First Killer? Because most I, definitely. You can't put him above Vitero Rise. You can't put him above Vitero Rise. You can't put him above FK. Yeah, I, and I don't believe. Yeah, I don't believe you can. Okay. Okay. I don't believe you can play above FK either. I don't believe that. But first off, okay, Monkey Moon was the only player at the winter at the winter major that averaged over 500 points. Just want to put that out there. If, if my memory serves right, Direct, there might have been another one. But you let me know, Direct. But as far as I, as far as I remember, Monkey Moon was one of the few, that, if not that, the wait, only players that averaged over 500 points. Was, was, was that the Moon tournament? Was, wait, wait, hold on. Was that the tournament? Mark couldn't hit a ball. Yes, it was the tournament. It was the tournament. Oh, so where they were two v three, and and, and and the monkey move was, was like, the, yeah, let me, let me. Uh, but you I know, thought team let, performances let didn't matter. No, team perform. It's a combination of team performance and individual performance. If Mark by eight makes the shot that was wide empty, Mark usually slots that. G G two G two doesn't even G two probably doesn't even win the major because Mark because BDS is in that spot in G two, and you don't know BDS might have repeated. They might have went back to back. Monkey move was easily one of the top three, if not if you want to be uh, a little bit. Generous top three players in the land, if the, if probably maybe maybe top five players you're talking wait, to. Wait, wait, at at, at the at, do you say at winter major you was top three? And I like no no question, no question. 
Uh, I, hang on. What? You know they got perfect sweat fire phase. You are joking. You are joking. You are joking. No, no. I'm using your team arguments. What are you saying? A top three player would not, like, if, no matter how bad your teammates are playing, are you saying, if, no how bad your teammates are playing, are you saying extra uh, mark with that bad that they got like, tw where, 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 what do they come? Didn't they, they go all six? They, they made Saturday. They went, no, that, they, they got top eight, they right? Nah, yeah, top, I, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't know. I, they had chemistry wait, issues. They, they nah, didn't want to play with Mark no more. It, and see Monkey it. Moon was carrying. At first kill is going to be so well, high. Right, no, Rise was the, I, I truly believe Rise was the best at alarm. Nope, that was Atomic. Okay, sure. So do you agree that Rise was second? <laughs> Rise was second, correct. Okay, so what? So you're, hang on. So what? Vatira, Joya, the t like... What? What okay. am I hearing, see, bro? See, uh, no see, see, I can't, I can't, see, see, Jack, you can't do that to me, Jack, because if Batira and Joya were three and four, and you had two, three, and four, that means you should have no, won. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not saying that. Nah, nah, I'm nah, saying nah, that. Nah, I'm nah, giving him players, I I gave him players that were better. I was, Jnaps was insane. Jnaps gotta be up there. G2 was so good. G2 was so good. G2 was so good. Exactly. If they were two, three, and four, they should have just won automatically. They were two, three, and five, they should have won automatically. I I dislike it when people just rave. You believe in them so much. You believe in them so much, Jack. They live in that world. <laughs> well, I never see. I never I see Jack. Never see Jack, like, Jack that emotion, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, now, Jack, you need to listen. To, Jack, Jack, listen yeah, up for a second. I'm listening. Okay, online in the winter, in the winter, in the winter online, Monkey Moon was probably best player in EU. If it, it, it Simmer Vatira, Simmer Vatira, and then at the land. Monkey Moon is still top three in the land. Top five, maybe, depending on who you talk to. Clearly, you're going to say he's top five. Yeah, we remember that. the winter then, major totally then, differently. No, okay, well, then. Bro, he uh, only well, remembers I, it because G2 won, bro. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, no, I remember it because it's, that's, that's when Bates put him st his stamp on the map. I was watching every single game way too closely. <laughs> and put and then, up there as well, bro. And, and, then, and then in spring, in spring, BDS dominated both regionals so much so that people said, oh, it's wrapped. Just give them the, the spring major right now. You know why? Because they had Monkey Moon and so, Seiko. Yeah, they had spring, the best player. In the world, and they are pairing them with another dude who could have been the best player in the world. And it looked like they're gonna dominate, ended up dropping the third one, and then they had a bad spring major. Monkey Moon didn't play up the par. Then at the world championship, where all the chips are on the line, where you talking about rings, you talking about winning the trophy, you're talking about becoming a world champion, getting a banner up. You don't get a banner for winning a major, you don't get a banner for getting top four in a major. Sorry, FK. You get a banner for winning the world championship, and Monkey Moon handled business right there. That's gotta be taken into account. I don't care. It, 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 he would have, they would have to fall off astronomically in this fall yeah. in this fall split for him not to be at number one. Now, like how FK is above him? No, but how FK is above him makes no sense. He hasn't won. Yeah, but he. Bro, was, how he are you gonna have Monkey Moon above Vatira? What? He Has Vatira won a world championship? Last oh time wait, you're you're it's, not you about it's not about titles. It's not about titles. Vatira second. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You just, just like you could have gotten away with it, but you've actually just put him at number one. I think you've just discredited your. You put Monkey at uh, one. Argument. Monkey's one. Yes. I can't, I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> all right, all right. Jack, Jack, no, no, Jack listen, I'm a monkey moon advocate as much as the next person, but you can't, you don't, you can't be number one if you How? miss, if you miss a land. But he won the most important land. Yeah, but he missed a land. Yeah, that's why he's fourth, bro. He missed a land and he still got top four. He won the most important one, yeah, though. Yeah, and he still got top four, but he missed one. Like, like he did, uh. like. Like, uh, I, I think we, it's a complete discredit it to we, Rise we, we and Batera had such we a good year. And first we it just like, it's, a, it's a team accomplishment. It's a team accomplishment. They had the a land, super though. team. You said that they picked up the best player in the region, Seiko. They picked up second place player behind Monkey Moon. Okay, so the second best player in the region, in your opinion. Well, third behind Batera, actually. My bad, I'm tripping. <laughs> okay. Cause it, bro, you're not making sense. You going back and forth now. You don't even know what you're no. talking about. No, I do. I do. I keep. I. I always. I, always, I, I was overlooking Vatera for a second. The way I see it is that he won the world championship, man. That's got to be taken into account. That's got to be taken into account. It's got to yeah, be taken into account. You're talking so about so. who is the best. Well, so second, 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 because, because so second number two. That, no. So why not? Wait, because if Monkey, if, if, if Monkey comes up and just wins the world championship, the most important the tournament, extra the, get the MVP same of that tournament. Well, yeah, he was the MVP of that series. He wasn't the MVP of the tournament. He was the MVP of that series. But I mean, you could have gave it any of it. G two got absolutely rinsed that whole entire series. So I mean, in my G two, they they were just out there. They were, why, they were out extra, there. They were why is extra not number two then? Why why, why, why was extra, 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 extra was extra not consistent the times that Monkey was consistent? It, no, 
You go look no. at the numbers. <laughs> Extra is averaging 280 at the winter major. He's having like 250 at the spring major. Monkey Moon, Monkey Moon's that guy. He's that, he's that guy. I, like, he just is. And this is crazy how the show has gone from me hating on BDS to being BDS's BDS. No, bro. I, look, nobody's arguing that Monkey Moon shouldn't be high on the list. Nobody's arguing that. So what's the argument Everyone first is against up? you putting him number one because that's okay. absolutely so, crazy. Okay, so the only reason y'all are rated Vatera above him is because he made every lane? No, no Vatera is no, just Vatera. a better Vatera, individual just, player. Just, literally is like, better I'm sorry, but like you just have to have eyes to know that Vatera was the best player of the year. Like that is that is as simple. It's as simple as that. Because there's not a single like the guy made eight out of nine regional finals. Like eight out. Are you guys? I, I am right on this, guys. I need someone to verify this. Like he made eight out of nine regional finals, bro. If someone does that in in Europe, by the way, if someone does that, like that is crazy. That is crazy. And and he won a land. He got second. Ah, how how are you? And Jack's told losing me, his mind, man. Learned, Jack's losing nah, his nah, mind. Nah, 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 nah. He told Mr. I test that he, he the got guy, a <laughs> The guy who always advocates and that stats don't matter 100%. You have to look at the eye test. I don't care what the stats say. What did I see on the 500 score game? 500 score a game. He could be farming seeds. Oh, oh, you gotta look at the field. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? Jack, Jack, first off, first off, first off. The win, going to 89 grand finals, I don't care about that. Nah, I care about winning. <laughs> I, 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 I care about winning. I bro. care about winning, Jack. Jack, where I come from, it's about getting the W. That's why Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Because he got the W's. And the most important tournament of the year, Monkey Moon said, give me that. He brought him there. He brought him there and said, I'm going to win my trophy. Second BG2. Too. The whole entire crowd, Jack, you were there. You heard that crowd, man. When they, when Jack, when, uh, when we introduced G2 and you heard Captain Canada, that place was about to take the roof off. Dickie's Arena wasn't about to have the roof no more. And they silenced them. They yep. silenced them. They, and they won the most important land, man. That's so why Vatir, you got to one, bro. Vatir being consistent and making eight out of nine finals. Of and and being said every time that he was the best player on the team in that tournament every single every time. single time which is crazy it, it didn't change crazy. no okay so so I look at the resume I see one spring major W yeah go Vatira and I say world championship that, that, why are you That's taking just why are you taking just wins <laughs> into account you can't do that you can't do that. You cannot do off, time that. Time out, time out, time out, time out. First off, first off, don't act, don't, don't act like Queso wasn't a better team than BDS in the in the winter major. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, yeah. even, that's not even act. Yeah, exactly. So of course I would expect Matero him being that great to go farther than Monkey Moon. He had a better roster. He had a better oh roster. Oh my! Than... <laughs> whoa, whoa, one, whoa, man. whoa! No. Monkey Moon no. number one, man. Look at Jordan. No! <laughs> what do you mean no? What, what are you that's even talking facts. about? What are you, Bates? They literally the fall major BDS won that with Mark on the team, and you go it in, is. you go into winter, and you got to be thinking BDS is one of the best teams in the world. Now they didn't play that well, but you can't say oh everyone knew going to the winter major the case, so they're just a better team. Uh, uh, the, no, 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 no. People, people were rating Queso above him. Queso were dominating online. Yeah, Queso, I, I feel like there's a Johnny Queso, Boy take there. I feel like he, Queso, he definitely said Queso, something. Queso were dominating online. People thought Queso was about to be that team, man. Also, people forget when BDS won the fall major, they came in as a three seed. It's not like they were expected to win. No, <laughs> that's not what I'm they saying. They weren't expected just... to win worlds. Yeah. It, but they, exactly. But see, that's why, that's why, that, and that's why what makes Monkey Move so, so great. Listen, so even when you don't expect him, he's handling business. What's first killer doing, bro? He's not winning. He's, he's dropping the, the, he, he, he averaged a 1.23 rating. Your point, your points per game, Monkey Moon was dropping 500 points per game in, in, in LA Major. First killer's doing that in every series because he dropped a 1.23 rating across the First killer's handpicking his team and still can't make a grand year. final. So I don't understand how he's above the dude who won the world championship. I'm not understanding it. Bro the can't even make every major. The team that won the world championship. He had to has go to pick up Seiko. Exceptionally high, huh? Man, I need to. I need to go back and watch the VOD to see how One many times Bates picked against Queso. I picked against him the whole entire. This turn. is this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say something with general knowledge when you yourself didn't even believe it. Listen to me, right, right. I won the last, NA One last thing, all right? If Monkey Moon or if anyone, let's say this next year, right? Let's say a player wins the world championship, but they, they do like terrible. They just squeak in at like fifth seed, fifth seed Europe. They win the world championship. Are they like number one? Because, but no. they didn't. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying he... Monkey Moon's body of work, he, he has been great the whole year. That's uh, okay. why, and any one of the world championship. His body of work is better than Vatira's overall? 
That's crazy. <laughs> yes, in my opinion, yeah. Bati's number two. But That's how Monkey it is, Boo man. Bati should have won the world championship. Monkey Boo didn't even get oh, a chance Monkey. to do anything because he missed the spring major. Monkey missed a major, bro. No, he was at the spring major. <laughs> nah, he missed full, but uh, uh, I don't know. First killer, first killer, get, first killer getting top, top, first killer being above. Bro, this Monkey is an Boo. individual player list. Monkey Moon went pick. and grabbed the third best player in the region, and they won a world championship. And then we're going to put extra top 10. He had extra one, 12. three, and top 10, and they won worlds. One, I, three, I top 10. I don't know how you world. can make this argument for Monkey this and then not, not say, and say that Extra can't be like if, if you're if we're taking your argument, Bates. Extra and Seiko need to be higher on the list. Like Extra being outside of the top ten. Extra hasn't been as consistent as Monkey Moon all year. Y'all gotta go look at the numbers. Y'all gotta go look at the eye test. I can't believe Jackie's eye test. Don't talk about the eye test. No, 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 no. He can't talk about the eye test. That's the first time anybody's ever been that blasphemous and and try to use eye test against me. Trust me, Jack. These two eyes, these two brown eyes, they work really well. You're sitting here riddling. Stats and you're talking about the eye test, bro. Listen, I'm just talking about the best player of the year based off the individual ability and what he what he did is Monkey Moon, man. It's just that simple. Now, you want to say Vatero is better at Rocket League now? Go ahead. Now, I mean, like, I'm not going to argue about it. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. Then, and he is now. The entire year. Okay. Okay. Better we're individual see. player. We're going we're gonna to see. I, didn't, I think we need to have a reconstruction. Jack, you got to come back on when we're talking about the World Championship. A world okay. championship, how much that means rather than rather than a major. That's a whole subject. No, it means it means a lot, but it doesn't mean enough to put like a player that Like didn't... Ahmed wasn't even on this list. Huh? Ahmed wasn't even on this list. Ahmed's gotta be on this list somewhere. Uh <laughs> I mean he missed a major too. It's difficult. Mm. Uh, yeah, but they he didn't miss a, I mean that's not he didn't miss a major. That that, that 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 was a circumstances outside his control. If it's I'm not supposed to, to be on this list, Card's supposed mm. to be on this list. Number 20. Mm. Yeah, no, mm. I mean, I think Card has to be over, over Amad. Whoa! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love Amad. Mm. 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 Amad's my favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, you're all no, over the place. I think that's, I think that's, no, I think that's <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Somebody that's... finally sees uh, Jack. I literally Cars all of these, all these bozos in the green Says room. Win. I sit here saying this that everyone's like, well, I, I don't know, card yada yada. I'm like, guys, card is literally the most consistent player on Fury. He's the only reason they stay in the games that they're in. So I just had to get out. Uh, I mean, out. I just Sorry, think Jack. that Go. he's just had a a better year, maybe. Actually, I, well, they did I miss the so. four major. Uh, they got top four at Worlds. Oh, if you're putting so much weight into Worlds, teammates, how are you How mm. are you putting Ahmed over Card? I've just realized. Wait, time on. Uh, time on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Card had, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. my and God. Ahmed Don't do this. Don't do this. Bro. How many grand, how many, how, how many, okay, look, now I get to oh, look at results. God, God. See, when we're talking about the best, we're talking about W's. Now I need to look at results to try to figure out between Ahmed and Card. How many grand finals did uh, Card, Card and Fury make? Yeah, they did make a lot. Fine, exactly, yeah. exactly. But so how what, many grand did Ahmed make? They made one, but you oh. said that exactly. it doesn't matter if you don't win. You said it doesn't matter if you don't win. No, no, that, it don't matter if you don't win. We're talking about the best of the best. Oh, we're yeah, but now, but now we're talking <laughs> about different things. It switches the criteria. Not the best of the best, I guess. I guess. The criteria, <laughs> so you're switching the criteria up to rank one part of the list, to, uh, but hey, not to, but hey. to rank another part of the list. It's a different criteria. Hey. Now that, you're going to get it. He's, he's figuring yeah, them out. We're talking about Gamers 8. The Gamers 8 wasn't factored in this, so yeah, we're just going to factor it. No, I didn't. I'm not thinking about Gamers 8. No, no, no. I know y'all I know y'all aren't. I said chat is chat. I saw y'all talk about it. Yeah, Jack, the goalpost shifts a little bit. Come on now. You know the business. Oh, man, <laughs> you're, you're, you're switching it to fit your agenda, and that's what you no, do. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm T Bay special, no. man. It's a T Bay specialty. My God. Bro, the professional flip flop. He I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that topic. I'm good. Move on. Move well, on. I, I, I'm glad. I'm glad you're done with the time. We about done with the show at this point. We got like two <laughs> minutes left. We've talked about this for the rest of the show. I know y'all see all those topics. I'm gonna tell you right now. We're not getting to them all, okay? But if you want to watch them, we might do some of them on uh, First Touch YouTube, or we might just hit them up next week. You never know. We should talk about EU groups. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can we? Yeah, skip, let, let's let's be running to to EU groups if we can, so we can get some thoughts on that. Basically, I want to be able to uh, show. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about Gen G. Yeah, we'll talk about them and that some other time. Uh, EU Regional One groups are in. Let's take a look at those. If you guys are following our esports on Twitter, they tweeted out just before the show. And people have been talking about so to quote, so to speak, groups of death. Can we show the groups, please? There we go. Group A, Karma Core, Vitality, Sonic, Suh. Group B, Moist. G1, Solary, Williams, Resolve. Group C, Team Liquid, Quadrant, Tundra, and Team Vertigo. 
And group D, Oxygen, EG, BDS, oh, and what is Gil. That group? My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what is that group? I'm group sorry. D. Group D for death. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's that's rough. Because Gil, Gilda, Gilda good for sure. Gilda good. Well. Yeah, Gilda good. Yeah. <laughs> I think group A could uh, group A could be sneaky if, I don't uh, if Vitality and Sonic show up, but I don't know about that. I think Carmine just run through that group. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they win that. I think there is potential. Is gonna be a lot. There is potential. I'd say Wait, group, would... B, group B is the easiest for me personally. You don't. Think... You don't rate. You don't rate G one very highly. No, I, I absolutely rate these teams highly. I think that every team in that group is great, but I just think that it's Group C, obviously, it's group. It's between Group B and C. I think which for easiest. I, I think Group C has you know Liquid and. and Moist Quadra. has a big question mark. Yeah. Moist has a question mark. Yeah, right now. Moist, you don't know what Moist, Moist is going to yeah, look like. We don't know. We really don't. Thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm with you on the group B being probably the easiest. And I don't know, D, man. I like I, I like Sonics. I like Sonics. I feel like uh, you know K Corp or K Corp, right? I'm not saying that anything's gonna happen there, but I'm saying the potential. It's Europe, man. Like it always happens in Europe. Some 12 seed beats the one seed. It can definitely happen. And I thought yeah. I think Sonics look good in the lead up to the regional. So is that, wait is Zen a Zen Zen's not uh, playing, no right? no not next, next, one more split next, split, next split. one more split yeah. where they they're doing split. a four man yeah. roster they're Guys, doing a four man roster it's like zip, to, to, anything less yeah. than first seed is gonna feel <laughs> like a no way they're doing a four man <laughs> roster but that's yeah, that's, that's the four man roster they're just saying that right <laughs> now they're saying that the mix might feel good and yeah. Yeah. that's the three man roster we're yeah, Zen we're Zen starring yeah I agree it was terrible so I think we're all in agreement group D group of death. It looks like all the other groups in that uh, EU regional could be debatable. You can kind of predict the winners, but where everybody else lands is going to be very different. Just so everyone is aware, even though it is a group stage similar to, similar to last year, the playoff system works differently. There is no up, no double elimination bracket. There's no bracket reset. It's all feeding into a single elimination bracket, and the winners of the groups get a bye into the quarterfinals. So that part is going to be different, how teams move in the playoffs and how that works. If you lose, you're done. Simple as that. So that is that. That is EU groups, and I think that is all the time we got. Unless, no, yeah, that's no. It, man. That's yeah. it. That's, that's it. So... <laughs> This is new for us. This is why you know we 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 decided you know let, let's let's spend some more time on uh, just like some topics and really let the discussion flow and all these other things we definitely are going to get to in some form or fashion, which means you want to keep it locked here on our socials either at First Touch RL on Twitter uh, or First Touch on YouTube just to see if something happens there. Me roll this TBS will be doing a lot of work in the meantime, uh, but of course I want to give some final thoughts uh, or some shout outs to our guests Jorby and Jack. Thank you so much for joining us. Today. Today. We'll start with Jorby. Uh, any shout outs? Any final thoughts? Yeah, uh, thanks for having me on again. It's always fun to come and uh, and joust with uh, joust with T Bates and you know vibe with you and uh, and Roll Diz and Abjack. He's always a pleasure to have around. Uh, keep an eye out. More streams for me coming and a video coming later this week. So it should be fun. Oh, shout out the video and of course Jack. Final thoughts for you. Uh, yeah, just uh, echoing Joby's thoughts on thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And no real shout outs apart from uh, T Bates Monk Moon at number one pick for 2022. That's, uh, that's up there. <laughs> <laughs> number four is good. Number one. True, now. true, true. true. Uh, but of course, uh, thank you to our guests for joining us here on the show. And uh, I mean, I do normally, I, I'll just close it out. But of course, roll this T Bates. This does mark two years of first touch, so I do want to give you guys a chance to like speak on stuff before we close out the show. Uh, I want to we'll start with Raul and go to Bates. Hey man, always appreciate you boys. Uh, to to the to the very end, you know what I'm saying. Appreciate the fans. Thank you guys for sticking with us for so long. It's been a lot of growth. T Bates grew a beard. Uh, I still got the mop head, and uh, yeah, we're gonna continue doing our thing. You know what I'm saying. Love you boys. Oh, uh, for uh, me, let me make sure I lick the camera properly. I just want to say that I really appreciate all the support and all the hate that we have gotten from all sides. All of it, all of it's been great. I do want to shout out to Onyx for giving us the opportunity two years ago. Um, they gave a kid from Louisiana with absolutely no beard and, and looking like a really young kid with, I don't know, he just talked a lot. He gave him a shot, and we do, we do, we do appreciate that. And I just want to shout out the community in general and. 
because they are y'all are amazing like bringing on jack and jorby and everybody else johnny and all the people who come on all the time we do love y'all we do appreciate y'all and that's what makes rock league special last but not least i want to shout out the uh the first touch team um i can go through all the names but i really don't need to i really don't need to they all know that i hope if they don't know well i just want to say that you're very appreciated we do love y'all the show wouldn't be what it is without y'all and it is absolutely amazing how far this has come for those of y'all who don't know doing something for two years especially to this degree is very hard in life and it's something that i'm really proud of so much love to also last but not least my two my two co-hosts raul and damar love y'all yeah so yeah, likewise uh, here as well. Of course, definitely thank you everybody who's been able to join us on this episode of First Touch. It means so much to us that you guys give us your continued support. Uh, I can't say more than these two have said. Very, very well spoken from them. Only just to echo what they say and, of course, to give my thanks and appreciation to both of them because it's been a crazy long journey and, you know, it's been, it's just been a wild ride and I've been very thankful that these two have been uh, with me along the way so uh, i'm very appreciative to be able to work alongside them and you know uh being able to put on this show uh, for you guys week after week it means a lot so to not just me but to the entire team so thank you guys so much for joining us this week on first touch and keep it locked in you see our socials below and you'll see the socials also at the end of the screen but you already know where splits getting started we got the regional this weekend if you're looking for rocket league today the g1 invitational is going on at g i think it's twitch.tv slash g1 live if you want to check that out uh there's some matchups playing today with oxygen sonics moist that's all going on right now if you want to watch right but of course the regional starts this weekend right here on twitch.tv slash rocket league keep it locked in but on behalf of all the staff and everyone who's worked on first touch this episode we thank you so much one two Toodaloo. We'll see you next week.